What's going on, YouTube? Not gonna keep you guys too long today. This is basically, might as well call it a PSA slash update on the Craigslist Lemon. When I first got this car here, it was just a piece of crap. Let me go back and watch that video. Almost nothing worked on it. Got everything straightened out and uh, got everything straightened out with the parts that I could afford to use. And that brings me to the subject of this video, eBay parts. Now, a lot of people tell you don't buy cheap parts. Everything that I bought on this car has been cheap. Nothing that I have replaced has been OEM. Nothing. And the car runs just fine. Fuel pump. Which, uh, when I pulled the old pump out in the old filter, had over 235,000 miles. The filter had never been changed. And, I mean, that was the OEM filter that I pulled off the car. The pump, the socks on the pump were, like, crystallized. Changed the pump in the assembly unit. Went on eBay, found that thing for 72 bucks. Stock OEM replacement. Didn't go with fancy Racetronics. All the big name brands. They didn't have the cash for it. Not only that, I know this car never make any more than 400 rear wheel horsepower if I get a chance to upgrade this car the way that I want to. And that's basically some 243 heads and a nice small, well, nice mild cam in the low 230 duration with a max lift of about, mm, about 580. So I know what my power goals are and I know the stock fuel pump I do. No need for the Racetronics. My fuel injectors. When the car was running bad, I replaced those. I called the auto parts. So the injectors, uh, I replaced those. They were a uh, thousand bucks from the auto parts store. OEM stock. Bought these blue ones here. Stock replacement. Cheap owns. 69 bucks. They work just fine. The only thing that I bought that was, I'm going to say, high quality was the gauge here to keep a eye on my fuel pump. Keep an eye on my fuel pressure. See if it's running good because that was made specifically for the rail. Other than that, everything on this car is dirt cheap. Mass airflow sensor, 30 bucks, eBay. Didn't have the price for a full OEM one from the auto parts store. Saves me a lot of money for the things that needed to be done. My headers. My long tubes there. Those were... 149, 100, so uh, three inch wide pipe, 120, off brand, made in America, eBay. Got this, forgot the seller's name. Run full synthetic in it, but I don't run the expensive brand full synthetic either. O'Reilly's Auto Parts, full synthetic. They have that stuff for 25, 26 bucks, five quarts. I buy that jug there. The car's been doing good on it. Replace my headlights. eBay, 107 bucks for new lights when it costs like a hundred bucks to have people to refinish those for you of course you guys remember the interior all ebay 
That was all eBay. All the badging, all that stuff, all eBay. Seat covers, eBay. Dash cover, same thing. What I'm getting at is, buy what you can afford. There are a lot of... How can I say? There are a lot of purists out there. OEMs the best quality, the highest quality, the top quality, and that may be true. But you, especially when you're starting off young or when you don't have a lot of money, you got to get what you can afford. eBay, when you think about it, you're dealing with different sellers from across the world. You have a choice to buy from whatever country you want to, America or overseas. I've seen plenty of these injectors shipping in from China and Hong Kong. These are probably a set of them, but it was a USA seller because I don't have time to wait. My alternator didn't have time to wait. Not a uh, OEM stock name brand alternator. $69 alternator from eBay. Versus, I think it was 140 bucks from O'Reilly's. Car right now is pushing uh, 240,000 miles as it sits now. It runs strong, still in great shape, using the parts I can afford. I know my power goes. I know what I'm going to do with the car. I don't need to buy all the expensive stuff. Even my windshield glass. And that's what actually kind of prompted me to do the video. Even the windshield glass. Paid 110 bucks. Installed. Really? Looks like the factory glass to me. It's not cracked. Got the little trim around it. Matches how the back window was made. Does the job. And it does it just fine. Young people don't get caught up in the name brands. Use what you can afford. Keep up the maintenance on your cars and they'll last you a long time. And as far as anything else, I hadn't had any trouble with it. Old car is an automatic. Uh, changed transmission fluid in it. Wasn't brown. Was not burnt up. Put new fluid in it, filter, new gasket around it, drilled my uh, drilled the drain plug so I can change it more frequently. And the stock auto training holding up. 240,000 mile car, LS, running strong. Had it dynoed, it put down uh, after the tune, it put down 321 at the wheels. More importantly, it put down 342 torque. Again, that's through an auto. Stock automatic. Stock highway gears. Not even 323s. These are the 273s or 272s, whichever one it has in it. Take care of your cars. Buy what you can afford. That's about all I can say. Nothing else to it. This is that Craig's Lemon, uh, Craigslist Lemon that I bought and this is just kind of an update on that anyway YouTube that's it